without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Necrosis mod. I'm so glad you're all hanging out with me today, you guys on YouTube and you guys on Twitch. I appreciate it so much. Today is going to be an epic day. Um, we got a lot to do. We got to get through the rest of the Whirlwind Maze, and then we're finally um, out in the open where we can do a lot of cool stuff. Um, my plan, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to it as we as we go. Um, first of all, I want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to anybody in the chat. Um, we are recording this three days before Christmas. So, I um, hope you guys have a great holiday season. Um, you guys watching on YouTube, you'll probably see this on Christmas, if not the day after Christmas. So, Merry Christmas. Uh, Nate Paz, I give you the 448. Now I know you said no healing, but what if we gathered all 35 soldier figurines and summoned Sh Shenron to grant us our devil fruit? Would that heal? Uh, it would only heal our souls. Um, but Merry Christmas to anyone watching on YouTube, um, and, uh, just, just thank you guys. I'm so, I'm so, uh, thankful for all you guys this year. Um, it's been a crazy year for me, so thank you, thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I had to go over. Um, oh, um, one thing. Um, do I want to fight this? Dude, how do you like that? I just flew through it. Like, I didn't even, like... I wasn't even paying attention. I just ran right through. Um... So... While this is going on... Uh... There is a new command on the chat. Exclamation mark mod. You can type that in to read more about the mod. I decided to do this because we have a lot of people that come in and ask about the mod. Either because they've never seen it or they just don't know everything about it. Um... So... I always have people in my chat, like, always repeating, like, oh, this is the mod, oh, this is the mod, like, answering everyone's questions, and, uh, that's really awesome, I'm really glad that everyone is, like, so nice to explain it over and over and over again, but I know it gets old after the hundredth time, so I put in the, um, the command, and I'm gonna do that for now on, like, anytime we're doing any kind of mod or doing any kind of special event, a challenge or whatever, um, I'm always going to have a command for it so that if anyone comes in and they're like, hey, what's this all about? You can type the command and you don't have to, you know, say anything more than that unless they ask questions further. Um, for the, those of you guys on YouTube, if you want to check out the pace bin that the, the command shows, uh, I'm putting it in the YouTube description so you can read it there as well if you're curious as to what it says. Um, it just goes over what the mod is, what this specific challenge is. Yo, 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 get a gold drift with the brand new sub. Welcome to the 4A crew. Thank you so much, man. Foam fingers in the chat. That incredible brand new sub. You're the man, dude. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, it, it just explains what the what the mod is, what the challenge is. The challenge is active battle. No question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. No knights of the round, that kind of thing. Um, and, yeah, that's about it. So, and then I also have, like, I have a one for, like, Spyrothon, too, so, uh, that way, anytime we're doing an event and there's a bunch of people coming in asking, I'll, you just have to type in the command and you're good to go. It's also in the title of the stream, so hopefully most people that come in will just go ahead and type it in. It's kind of a common practice in Twitch if there's a command in the title to type it in so that you know what's going on, but not everyone knows that. A lot of people come from YouTube, um, and they don't really know how Twitch works, so they're kind of like, you know they're figuring it out as they go along but now it'll be really easy to just type in the command and not have to repeat ourselves just makes for a cleaner chat <laughs> the guy over there yeah he's blinking I guess I don't know well he, in, the, in the steam version he like twitches because only only his left eye is blinking the right one isn't so like he's he's over there like twitching I guess <laughs> having a heart attack over there we're just kind of like eh whatever story we have a lot of Canadians Magic Man's also from uh, Canada I almost said Canada 
Magic Man is also from Canada. Ooh, Denmark. That's awesome. I'm also right below Canada because I live in Ohio. And I'll mend this for Malta, which is so cool. <laughs> Canadia, a great sports drink. Sponsor me now. What's up, Dr. Slaughter Rex? Welcome, my man. Thanks so much for being here. Ukraine, that's really awesome. New Zealand, Italy. Maz is also from Italy. Yeah, I'll have to get on that Monster Hunter World beta. We played Monster World, uh, Monster World Hunter beta on stream last week. And uh, I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> I played it with Mendo and Zykros on stream. And they were just like going around destroying everything. And I was just like, what's the jump button? So uh, I didn't really learn too much because they were just destroying everything. And I was trying to figure out how to move. Uh, so, But they're opening up the beta again. So I need to play it like this weekend and just like learn what I'm doing. Fight some like easy enemies and just figure out how to do things. It's kind of a complicated game. Like, once you get into it, it's not that complicated, but it's complicated to get into because it's so different. It's a very different type of game. Yeah, it's it's honestly really hard to go back to the PlayStation version after playing the Steam version. Um, like, I've told, I've told people this a lot. This is the best version of Final Fantasy VII, like, hands down. It's, I mean, you can you can say, like, oh, well, the original's the best, which is, like, fine. If you decide that, it, you know, the original's obviously the original. Like, there's no beating the original. But this is the best version to play on because the graphics are so much better. Like, just the little touch-ups they did just makes it all look so much nicer. Um, and there's also certain things like the magic defense bug being gone and just little things that are nice. Um... And, you know, if you lose a save, you can always, like, Black Chocobo your way through the game, or um, you can also install mods and stuff, so it's just the best version to buy. You don't need a PS1 to play it either, you just need literally any computer. Um, and you can easily, you know, since it's on Steam, you can grab it on any computer and play it once you own it, so... Um, yeah, this is just the definitive version. It's way better than all the other versions. It doesn't have any glitches or frame rate drops like the PS4 does or any of that garbage. Now the original PC version was terrible. <laughs> uh, Bandit Scorpion, thank you so much for the $5, my man. Just got my holiday bonus, thank you for hours of entertainment. Thank you so much. That's my holiday bonus. My holiday bonus is you being here. That's my holiday bonus. Couldn't ask for anything anything better. Yes, the PC version came out with the original game. I think it was... It might have been a little later, but it was pretty close. It was like the same year, I think. I'd have to look it up. It might have been at the same time, but I don't think so. It would have been pretty rare to see a PC release of a of a PS1 game like together. I would think it's a little it was a little later, but it was the original game. It was just ported to PC, um, and that is the first version that you can UFI warp and wrong warp and all that stuff and get to the debug room. So technically, there is an original version of Final Fantasy VII that you can get to the debug room, which means there's an original version of Final Fantasy VII where you can save Eris which is uh, still to this day blows my mind. 
after all the years of people saying, you know, all these made up things about how to save Eris, almost 20 years later, actually exactly 20 years later, right? Came out in 97. We find a way to, uh, to save her. What's up, Des Desiree? Or is it Des? No, I think it's Desiree. I don't know how else you'd say that. Thanks, man. So glad you're here. No, I won't be doing the Midgar raid skip. I'm not skipping any bosses. I'm doing everything that's optional, including Wu Tai. For me, it's not a challenge unless we do everything. I think, I mean, we're, I, I'm even planning on doing the Turk battle, so. The Turk battle is also really nice because Cydric and Minerva Band. One thing that I really wish they would have done with this Steam uh, remake, though, is change the uh, the aspect ratios. Would have been really nice if they took the time to change the aspect ratios. Because Final Fantasy VII has one of the strangest setups ever in existence. <laughs> and it's still to this day strange and hard to, like, capture. Yo, Fox Bagu with a $10 donation. Happy Christmas, death, and all 4-8. Y'all awesome. Nothing but love for everyone here. Health and happiness to one and all. Thank you so much, Fox Bagu. Full figures in the chat for that incredible $10 donation and the kind words as Fox Bagu always knows the best way to cheer us all up. Thank you, my man. Oh, uh, screw this uh, donation incentive, by the way. I didn't mean, I meant to, I meant to cancel it. We're just gonna open. Uh, we're just gonna open both gifts today. I don't. We don't need no donation goal. So here starts the part of the game where we don't have cloud and we can uh, do a lot of nice stuff. I probably should have unequipped cloud, but it's all right. There's not much that I'm worried about in this part of the game, especially because we don't need to worry about cloud, so. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to grind, since we can successfully grind without Cloud here. But I'm not too worried about it. Because once we get Cloud, all we have to do is beat Diamond Weapon in the Midgar Raid, and we can go get Magic Pots, and then we can grind as much as we want. Well, sort of. We have to get magic pot battles without getting any other battles, but... explain this part um this is 
kind of just mind screw. <laughs> um, yeah, this is like in Tifa's head. See, they all... Thank you for the 100 bits, Janice. And thank you for the 85 bits long hair. Um, they all, like, suffer from stuff here because of uh, the live stream being so close and stuff. So they're just like, the. <laughs> I mean, Tifa's out for several days, I think, right? I always forget how long it is. Thank you for the 100 bits, Lady Skittles. I know I gotta catch up on everything. I gotta catch up on the bit boss. Seven days, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Does Cloud still collect half XP while he is out of the party for this part? Um, I don't actually know that. I want to say no, but... Because if I remember correctly, like, every time I get out of this part, Cloud's kind of, like, even with everyone then. I love this part where he opens up the, the curtain. He's like, by the way, we're all screwed. Yeah, I believe how it works is if you're in the PHS, you get half experience. Uh, but because Cloud is straight up out of the game, he doesn't get anything. Like, Eris doesn't get anything. Once she's gone, she doesn't get anything. Like, if you, even if you hack her back in. Thank you, Gonk, for the 1,000 bits. Appreciate that a lot, my man. Merry holidays to everyone. Thank you, my man. Yeah, that's a stupid theory. That 7 and 10 take place in the same universe. It was it was just an Easter egg. I don't think it was meant to be taken seriously. And even if it was, it doesn't really mean anything. I wish uh, Barrett wasn't dead. I was thinking about that after the stream uh, last week. I was like, alright, we're just going to kill Barrett off because he, we don't really need him anymore. But in retrospect, his ultimate weapon is really, really good. So it kind of sucks that he's dead, but there's some other characters we can use that'll be fine. Plus, I don't think we'll be attacking much anyways for the rest of the game. Now that we can finally get mine. Yeah, this this upcoming fight is going to be interesting. I think we have a... Um, we have a cauldron, though, I think, so we... Hopefully be okay. Oh, got her. No, we haven't gotten Yuffie or Vincent yet. On purpose. I think we will be getting Yuffie really quickly, though. Really soon. Actually, I don't know. I might wait. I do want to get Yuffie before the Wutai quest is over, because I want to do the Wutai quest. But I think we'll be going to Wutai after this, uh, even without Yuffie. Because there's a few items I want. I know I have something here. M tentacles. Could use that. I don't know, I guess these guys aren't that strong. 
I got lucky and they missed with like everything. So. Yes, you can do the Wutai quest without Cloud. You can do the Wutai quest at any point in the game before Diamond Weapon. Even if Diamond Weapon's on the map heading towards Midgar, you can do the Wutai quest. Uh, I think we will just... See, this part of the game sucks because they freaking take everything. Like, all the characters still have stuff. Like, Tifa still has all of her stuff equipped. Except, I think, Materia. I think they removed Materia, but everything else stays. Uh, I mean, there's not really anything that matters here. I'm just really equipping stuff for uh, to level it up. Tifa, I'm coming to save you. Yes, there's no restoring MP either. Diamond Weapon actually just walks towards Midgar and then stops, and then just waits for you. So. But I think, yeah, if you like, if you actually go into a town before he makes it all the way to uh, Midgar, then he, like, stops, I think. Then when you come back, he starts walking again, but no matter what, he gets to a point and then just stops. Is it just me, or is getting Knights of the Round one of the most ridiculous processes in video gaming? No, not really. It's pretty simple. The thing is, though, as a kid, you'll, like, never figure it out. It's so, like, specific. But... Somehow we did as kids. Somebody did. And spread the word. <laughs> but, I mean, you can also just beat Ruby Weapon. Which is probably what I'm going to do, to be honest. Weapon approaching. 70 million knots. Oh no. Good, it's attacking. Uh, Barrett and someone else is dead. Red 13? No. Yeah? No. Yeah. Yeah. Red 13, I think. I'm not worried at all about health, honestly. Only Cloud's health am I worried about. It's like this entire part of the game I'm not worried about. I have like four characters with full health.
trying to get there as fast as possible to get his least amount of fights. It's kind of weird seeing this cutscene without Yuffie. It's been a long time since I've gotten to this part without her. I'm doing all the side quests. Like anything that involves bosses. The only thing we didn't do is the boss for uh, Alexander, because that's kind of pointless. Which we could always go back and do that later if we wanted, just for fun, but she's pretty simple. Yeah, I do believe that Sapphire Weapon at one point was supposed to be a boss. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, um, kind of like proof in the, in the, um, oops, in the code that there's some stuff that they wanted to do but didn't have time to. It's hard to... Okay, which is legs? Cancel is legs. So, I want these two. Th these two. D Hello? These two. There we go. <laughs> and then these two. Th these two. Th Hello? You have the key. Just... There we go. I swear, this is weird on the keyboard. Why can why can you not there? I don't think you can get into a fight with her, right? I always forget if there's like random battles when you're running away, but I don't think there is. This part is like the most goofy part of the whole game, I think. If I had to pick any, like the goofiest part of the whole game would be this. He just shoots this little like baby beam and just scratches this side of the... <laughs> it's like there's a full-fledged war out there and he just randomly is like, Take that! Scratched up your paint, dude! And then gets blown to smithereens. Like, what a loser. What an actual waste of life. The cloud dress makes sense. This is just like... They did it because they had to have some way for Tifa to get out. <laughs> like, how, how does Tifa escape? Uh, I don't know. Sapphire, give us a... Give us a helping hand. I love how it looks like Tifa's possessed when you climb these. Rip random guy. <laughs> Will home screen. Now for the most pointless thing in the whole game. Friggin' slap fight. And I do like this part though. I kinda wish you could've just like straight up killed her though. Instead of just running. Like in what universe does Scarlet not just get destroyed by Crixie here? 
Like, Tifa is straight up martial arts expert. Scarlet's just, like, slapping her. Like, why does Tifa even slap her? Why does she not just friggin' grab her and throw her off the cannon? Also, Barrett has a lot of uh, trust in, in Tifa to make this jump. This could have been the end of Tifa right here, if she just missed this jump. If the, if, the, uh, if the rope hadn't snapped back like that, Tifa was just straight up dead there. Alright, we finally got the high wind. Time to do some fun stuff. So, we have a lot of different options here. Um, we can, like, we can spam big guard for the rest of the game. Or we could go to Wutai and get curtains and uh, light and lunar curtains and start using those instead. Um, we could go get Mime, or we could just hope we have enough MP for the rest of the game. We could go do the Quadramagic bug. Like, there's so many different things we can do here. And I don't know exactly, I mean, we could go get Knights of the Round if we wanted. We could do anything here. So, it just kind of depends on how far we want to take it. <laughs> I kind of think that maybe getting Mime right now is too much like I might get something like I don't know we can do whatever we want here yeah I'm probably just gonna go to Medeal and get Tifa out of the party because we don't need her Thanks, Janice. <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks, Janice, for the 100 bits. We're not getting Knights of the Round, period, but just saying we could get it. At this point in the game, you can. What's up, Jimbo? Ew, viral infection. That's no good. Do I have to actually go to the... I think I do. Uh, doesn't much matter who we put in our party. Yeah, see, like, he still had his frickin' material. For some reason, they just don't really remove anything at the start of this, too. You have to do it all yourself. And frickin' Cloud still has whatever he had equipped. I know they get rid of the materia on Cloud, but I'm pretty sure he still has his accessory and his armor. The game never removes armor, so... Like, when Eris dies, she, you lose whatever armor she had. Ah, we're off. <laughs> Alright, so what 
what do we want to do here? This is the big question. I think we'll go ahead and go get rid of Tifa. Just because it's easy. It saves us the headache of dealing with her. I heard you can dig up Eris' equipment in the Bone Village. Huh, I never heard that. I would I would need proof of that before I believed it, because I've never heard that. That'd be cool though. Does anyone know how the pilot and training levels up? It's just through the story. The further you get in the story, the more he levels up. <laughs> Dig up the corpse. It is kind of cool that Tifa becomes the leader here. It makes sense for the story, but it, it, like no one really says, like, Tifa, you're the leader. It's not like Sid where they talk about it. It's just kind of like understood that she's the leader, which is kind of a cool thing. Honestly, I don't want to do too much here. Like, I thought about, oh, we could go get a bunch of stuff, but honestly, I don't really care. The bosses that are coming up aren't that scary. And I have, you know, full reign over all my characters. I should probably go get Vincent. This would be a good time to get him, because right now I'm pretty low on characters. With Cloud and Tifa being out, and Barrett and Red 13 being dead, I literally have Sid and, Sid and Kate Sith. <laughs> and that's it. I'm actually wait on Vincent. I might get Yuffie. Now would be a good time to get her. Red 13 isn't dead, but he's practically useless. He has like 2,000 HP and no MP. And Kate Sid's pretty useless too, because he has no MP, so... I really got, like, Sid, and that's it. <laughs> so we're gonna put him down. Nah, we'll let him... Let him stick around. Please, not going outside if you catch my drift. Yeah, this has an interesting, um, an interesting spin on the game that you never really quite get used to. You're never like, oh, it's just, it's just weird. I never played an RPG where the main character is just out for a while. Usually, when this this kind of thing happens in a in an RPG, it's like some side area with like different characters or whatever, but the fact that you have your normal characters but Cloud just isn't there is so weird. And the fact that you can go and do anything you want in the whole world map, like they took the time to make Tifa and Sid work everywhere in the whole game, so you can go ride Chocobos with them, you can go to the Gold Saucer and play games with them, you can do the Yuffie side quest, they put in all text for them, um, you can go get Vincent, they put in text for both of them to go get Vincent. Like, they took the time to do all of that so that it really felt like Cloud was straight up gone. What happens during, during Bizarro? Even if we get split up, which we we may or may not, um, you can kill Bizarro without changing parties if you do enough damage. You just have to get over the heal. What's up, Crixie? 
Thanks again for the cat holding the pizza. <laughs> it's sitting next to me. Sid's like, yeah, I can do it. I'm the best. I'm so mad too. for him, don't I? Remedies would be nice, actually. Thank you so much for the 848, Napaz. Now, where did I put that gift? I had it somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. No healing. Hi, Creasy will love this. Now, if only I could send death those Ritz crackers. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh... I want any of this. Crystal Bangle's not bad. Um, but I don't think I need any of that. What greens is it for him again? It's the one that... It's from the guy. Wait, is it from the guy or no? I forget. Is it from the uh, the farm or the the guy? See you, Crixie. Have a good one. Thanks again for the gifts. Is it? I'm gonna double check. It's Mimit. I knew it started with an M. Uh, we can go fight Cactars now. Fighting Cactars is an easy way to make a bunch of money for free. I should 
buy stables. Uh, might want to wait though. Until I actually use them. I don't really want to do chocobo breeding. So I'm trying to like, get as far as I can without it. I'll go ahead and do the quadra magic glitch. Don't know if I'm really going to use it because of MP, but. Wind is vomiting. God dang, those things do a lot of damage. Probably because you have a freaking gold armlet on. decided exactly what I'm going to do. Quadra magic isn't super useful for us yet, but it is with Comet, 
if we're just trying to get out with, you know, we don't care about MP, we're just trying to not take a lot of damage, it'll be useful. Um, okay, I might be going to Wu Tai actually. Although before that, there's an item I want. There's an item I want, and there's an item I want a lot of. And it is right here. So I probably need to do some equipment now. Uh, let's see. You have double, and you have double, so it'd be nice to put some stuff that I really want to level up here. Contain probably being one of them. Time could also be a good... Oh man, that just destroyed your HP though. That's not what we want. Oh yeah, Sid needs sadness too. Good point. I forgot how much contain destroys your HP. Minus 10%. It's freaking insane. Do you still have a double weapon? No, I sold it. Uh, okay. We'll give it to you then. Uh, what else? Comet. Be good to get Comet too. And Elemental would be nice also. MP Turbo would be good too. Let me forget to go to Wu Tai because I want Magic Hammer. After this, 
Did I get beach? Okay. After this, we'll go to, um... After this, we'll go to Wu Tai and get Magic Hammer. And then, um... We'll go to Wu Tai and get Magic Hammer. I could also get Curtains, but I don't really know if I want to or not. Actually, can you get curtains before getting Yuffie? I think you might have to do the Wu-Tai. Isn't there like a guard like stopping you from going on the... On the, uh... Statues? I want to say there is. I think there's like guards preventing you from going in and getting um, into the statue, but that's okay. At this point in the game, big guard isn't that expensive because I have plenty of characters with full MP. I wonder how much health these things have. Can I kill these things? Because they don't do a ton of damage. I'd rather not fight them, but. If they don't have that much HP, I might be able to kill them. Let me see. They have... 9,000 HP. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that one. It's a lot, it's a lot of HP. There's a lot of better fights we could get into. Yeah, it's something that I've always wondered. Like, how in the world does Rufus survive? Phoenix down. This is kind of an all all in preparation for uh, a specific boss that we're gonna have to fight later. This is also nice for diamond weapon because it's really hard to do a lot of damage to diamond weapon but dragon scales are fantastic for that so we're gonna need a lot might be here for a hot minute I don't mind Sid taking damage here I really don't mind uh, red 13 or Kate Sith taking damage they're pretty much useless Sid taking damage kinda sucks but it's not the end of the world I probably won't use Sid anymore after the next two uh, quests. He'll probably be fairly damaged from the train and so 
he'll probably just be it'll probably just be a Cloud Yuffie Vincent show for the rest of the game. And Tifa. Tifa's also perfectly fine, so. I have I have three healthy characters, even if Sid gets destroyed. Wily's leader. I don't think he'll take that much damage. The train is a little scary, but nothing on the train really does a ton of damage. It's more about just killing them before you run out of time. Um, which we don't necessarily have to do, but I'm definitely going to try to. Um, and then, like, Rude isn't really a problem either, so 